Joining us now is Father Michael Cherney, the Vatican Undersecretary for Refugees and Migrants. You're usually in Rome. We're delighted to have you here. Thank you for Pleasure. joining us. Nice to be here. We just heard that the Pope said there needs to be open minds and open doors. What does that mean? It means that um, our first concern has to be the people themselves. And our hearts have to be open so that we appreciate what they're going through, that we realize that if we were in the same situation, we would do exactly the same thing. And then the doors have to be open because they need some place to live, some place to, to raise their families. The Pope has created a new Vatican office. You've been in, in charge for about five weeks, uh, and it's called the Section for Refugees and Migrants. Will you be seeking these humanitarian corridors that the Pope mentioned today for people to come in? Humanitarian corridors is, is one important solution that would make it uh, safer and more secure for people to move when they have to move and make them less vulnerable to traffickers. You, the Pope has also said, and, and we can put it up here, I think that in theory no one should close their heart to a refugee, but those who govern must also exercise prudence. They should be very open to receiving them, but they should also calculate how they will be able to settle them. I think there needs to be, uh, what he's saying, a balance on Catholic social teaching between people having the right to migrate and people having a right to regulate borders. Well, but that's not the important thing. The, the, the balance is a bit of an abstraction. What is really the thing is that when people move, when people come to a new place, they really need to be integrated. It's not just enough to for, for people to come in and then have to fend for themselves. And once a country has integrated as many people as it can, then it ha needs to help look for other solutions. But the question is, how many people can we integrate? And that's not a big policy question. That is a question community by community, parish by parish. We can welcome people. We can make a little more room at the table. And uh, we'll see that, uh, in fact, it's not uh, such a huge problem as it looks when you quote the big numbers. You've said that the global refugee crisis isn't global and it isn't a crisis. What do you mean by that? Well, it's not a crisis because human beings, we've been moving ever since we became human. This is, this is a very important, it's just part of our genetic makeup that we, that we do move. And so moving is not, uh, is not so terribly unusual. And well, in war, I mean, I think these, these refugees are moving because they have to. Well, there's, uh, there are many reasons for moving. And, and again, if you, if you put yourself in their shoes, you'd say, if in the face of religious persecution, in the face of drought, in the face of ter terrible storms, in the face of chronic unemployment, you would move too. You wouldn't stay and just wait to die. So, so it's normal. It's not a crisis. And it's not global because it's, it's each family. Each family is facing these issues, and, and we'll understand it best when we see it from a family's point of view, not when we try to think of 5 million or 50 million people. Right, but we don't see that in the United States. We're not trying to go anywhere. We're not trying to be refugees. And so how do you, how do you make that match? How do you try to, uh, you're seeing others in the world, not ourselves, and, and how do you welcome with these open hearts and open doors? Well, first, one thing is to remember that, that maybe I wasn't a refugee, but my parents or grandparents were. So many, uh, many uh, people in the United States today have stories which are very similar to the stories of the people who are coming now. That would be one thing. And the other is, again, uh, if you think of it less as a huge policy issue and more as a question of was, what could our family do to welcome another family? And then you suddenly see, well, we've got all this stuff, we've got all this space, we've got all this food. We've got so, and, and, and we find that when people are actually facing the, real, the reality of a particular family, then it's not a crisis, and it's not global. It's, it's just human. Father Michael Cherney, Vatican Undersecretary for Refugees and Migrants, thank you so much for joining thank you. us. Thank you for the welcome.